In this video today, we're going to be covering four things that you need to do to be successful in telesales. It's really an incredible time to be in the insurance industry. Think about it. Just a few years ago, agents were calculating premiums by using a formula in the back of an agent guide. Uh, they were using MapQuest. We didn't even have GPS. We certainly didn't have Google Maps or Waze on our phones. Um, and there was even agents that went to clients' homes to collect the premiums themselves. They used to be called a debit route. So while there have been changes over the years, this past two years, post the pandemic, the COVID pandemic, we have seen massive changes with companies introducing and implementing new processes, new technologies to serve families in a non-face-to-face -face format. What this has done for the industry, it has opened it up completely. There's been huge advancements uh, in, in, uh, in all, on all fronts. Lead generation, the way e-applications are processed, the way signatures are gathered and processed, the way underwriting is completed and conducted, the way approvals are done, um, the way policies are issued. All of it has changed and we've seen some of the biggest changes just in the last 24 months. As a result, it's blown open this industry to make it accessible for so many more people. What once was a, a business where you had to set appointments, go see clients in their home face to face, and while a lot still do that, we work with thousands of agents that still do it that way, the industry now has an opportunity for you to come in and conduct the entire, entire process of the uh, contact, the appointment set, the presentation, the uh, application, the processing of that, the acceptance and the issuing of the policy, all done virtually in either a Zoom or over the phone. It's incredible what, what's happened. Um, after the national shutdown, all this evolution has really taken place as the country is opening back up again. Some agents are not going back to full-time field sales. Um, and some have come into the business during this time and only know it as a telesales opportunity. So that's really appealing, isn't it? When you put miles on the car or you don't have to put miles on your car, some people would rather choose the latter. Some people would rather choose to do it over the phone. Um, having the flexibility to work anywhere around the country from your home office, wherever you are, and you can conduct business in any state that you're licensed in is really an appealing opportunity that puts this insurance business and career literally in the hands of so many more people than could have ever imagined before. And you can start part-time, you can go full-time. It just has so many more options now. However, I will say that the telesales opportunity, while some people think, well, man, you can just work from your pajamas at home or you can go to the beach and work mornings from the condo and spend the afternoons on the beach. And yes, you can do that. But I would say that um, the success ratio of people over the phone versus face-to-face, -face, if you had to compare the two side by side, I would say face-to-face -face is probably a slightly higher success ratio until you decide to master the craft of how to be disciplined and create a system on the phone. So I, I think it takes a little more effort and a little more discipline to be successful on the phone doing complete telesales or complete virtual opportunity. So if you're going to enter the business that way or you're started in the business this way, I think there are four things that you really need to implement or consider if you're going to be truly successful selling virtually in a non-face-to-face -face format. So here they are, are you ready? I would say number one is you need to get leads into your hands, leads. Now, a lot of people get in the life insurance business and in the insurance industry in general, whether it be Medicare, life, whatever, and they're working a warm market. They're working people that they know, family and friends. Some companies have built their entire program on this. I would say to take advantage of this new evolution or revolution in telesales opportunity, it is led because of the fact that there is a high proliferation now of leads available to you from around the country that you couldn't access before. Previously, if you're just doing face-to-face, -face, you need leads in a certain geo, certain geographic area that you can get to. And while there are thousands of agents that are still successful doing that, the virtual opportunity or the telesales opportunity has opened that up. It's expanded that. And if you have a license in multiple states, and all that's required to do that is to get a reciprocal uh, non-resident license in another state, all that the state just wants their fee to license you. You don't have to take another test or anything. But if you get multiple state licenses, now you can acquire leads or get leads from multiple states. And here's the cool thing. The virtual opportunity allows you to be like, if you're on the East Coast, 
you can actually set appointments with people on the West Coast. It might be 10 p.m. here, it's only 7 p.m. there. And you now have so much more access to add opportunities to your career, whether it be part-time or full-time, that you didn't have before. I think the lead opportunity comes in multiple ways. There's direct mail leads, there's digital leads, there's Facebook leads, there's Google leads, there's call transfers. There's so many different lead options that are available to you now. And if you are um, licensed in multiple states, you can get access to more leads at a lower price point than if you're trying to just get them into one geographic region. So there's definitely some upsides to that. And leads in volume on the phone, I believe is the key. Because if you don't give yourself enough opportunity on the phone, you're not going to be as successful. You can probably be more successful face-to-face -face with a lower lead count. I think on a virtual or telesales opportunity, you need more opportunities, you need more leads. But being flexible to get them in multiple states uh, can give you access to much many more leads at a lower price, uh, given you the, the amount of volume that you need to be successful. So. Um, if you're looking for lead options, you can reach out to us. We have plenty of options that we can point you to and connect you with to get you rolling. I think the second thing that you need to do and you need to learn to do quickly is to pick up the dang phone. <laughs> Some people don't want to pick up this phone. It's like, it's like a cinder block. It's like one of those big bricks and it gets heavy because you don't want to waste any leads, right? You don't want to burn them. I just invested in these leads and now I don't want to waste them. So I want to make everything perfect before I pick up the phone. I will tell you this, the hardest thing to do when you're doing something new is to get started and the phone can be the heaviest thing in the world. Really agents fail because they have an expectation that virtual sales are gonna be easy. It isn't easy. I would say it's simple, but it's not easy. It's not easy because it's easier for us to get in our own minds about the process, about what it's gonna take, about being disciplined, about getting a no on the phone or getting hung up on when you're trying to book an appointment. You get hung up on three or four times in a row, you think you're gonna burn through all of your leads and then you don't wanna phone anyone else. I mean, it happens, it happens to the best of us. But it takes focus, it takes discipline, and it takes thick skin. You'll get more no's than in face-to-face -face sales. And there's a learning curve. You'll have to learn the right pace, the right tone, the right cadence in order to communicate effectively. And you must give yourself enough runway and commit to the process for long enough that you'll, give your, that you'll get results in your first two weeks. I would say that a lot of agents don't give themselves enough lead volume, and then when they do pick up the phone, they don't give themselves enough runway to fail first, to figure out what not to say and what to say, to actually be successful. Don't be too hard on yourself. Invest enough to give yourself enough runway, but don't be afraid to pick up the phone. Once you start having some success, that success will lead to some confidence, and confidence over time starts to create a competency in your process and you'll start to have more success. I would say the third thing that you need, numero three, is that you need a script. You need a script. Um, you can try to wing it. I tried to wing it. I did, when I, when I first got in sales years ago, I used my personality and uh, I thought I could get by on that and people would buy from me because they like me. And certainly people do buy from people that they like. Let's not, let's not make no bones about that. You need to be likable. But it wasn't until I was in the business for about a year or so, that I realized that there's a process and a system to selling. And this was great news to me because if I could learn the process, I could take all the pressure off me. If I could learn the process and put the pressure on the system or the script and the process, then I could lean into that. You see, one of the things I want you to understand about a script is that they're usually developed by other people who've done it. And they've eliminated the things that, do, that don't work and they've kept in the things that do work. And there's a reason why certain components are in a good telephone script. There's reasons why they're there. And if you would follow that process, you're going to start generating results. And it's going to start giving you some confidence in the process. If you're trying to be too gimmicky, if you're trying to be too salesy over the phone, you will lose people because you don't have the the benefit of this, the, the engagement of seeing their, uh, you know, their response, their body language, their facial response. Uh, so you lose some of that. So on the phone, it's about cadence. It's about tone. It's about pacing. It's about exuding confidence and competency in your process. If you notice there, I slowed down so that you would see the difference in the pace and the tone, and it produces a different result. So. If you're not going to use a script, you're gonna burn through more leads, it's gonna be an uphill battle, and you're always gonna be trying to figure out 
why the leads aren't working <laughs> instead of why your process is not working. So if you need a script, also reach out. We can help you with a good script. And then I think um, one of the other components that you need that will be your last and biggest uh, success feature of, of being, um, you know, gaining traction in telesales is connecting with a mentor. Uh, a good coach will help you get where you want to go faster. I believe anyone who's going to be any good in any field has someone that they can call a mentor, someone that they can call a, a coach, an accountability group, a team. So if you think about successful organizations, they're usually run in successful teams. It's not just a bunch of people operating independently. They're following a system. They have a coach where they can get feedback. And virtual sales, I would say, is an art and a science. If you're using Zoom, you have the benefit of the facial response and the body language. If you're using telesales, there's, there's these other components like cadence, tone, pace that need to come into play. And if you have a coach, a mentor that you're connected with, then you'll be able to get feedback on what those look like and sound like. And the cool thing about telesales is that you can just turn on a Zoom call and have your mentor watch and sit in and watch you do the process with you. Uh, you can jump on a Zoom and watch them make phone calls. You can jump in and watch them do appointments. There's no difference than shadowing somebody physically in the car or going to someone's home. You can now do that virtually. So if you're not connected to somebody, you're missing out on feedback, you're missing out on opportunities to improve yourself. And I think everybody needs a good coach. You need an accountability group. A good coach will direct you to affordable leads. They'll set you up with a good script. They'll be able to give you feedback on your tonality and cadence. And as you progress, you'll, uh, they'll even be able to direct you to some resources to help you become more efficient in your sales processes. And a good coach will ultimately help you become more profitable. That's the name of the game, isn't it? About making more money. Serving more families, making more money. So if you have any questions about your sales or your business and uh, want to know how to get to the next level, we would love to hear from you. To us, there's simply no such thing as a dumb question. And you know us here at the Life Insurance Academy. We want to help people win. We want to bring value. So if anything that I talked about in today's video struck a chord with you, or if you want, some more, any, if you want more information on any of those components, please reach out to us at lifeinsuranceacademy.org. You can message us through any of our social media at Life Insured CAD, uh, and uh, we'd be happy to connect with you, help you level up your business, become more profitable, and be successful in this world of telesales. Hope this helps. We'll see you on the next video.